G'day guys, welcome back to another vid. This one's gonna be another camping gear video. This one, we're gonna be looking at three very different style of fire pits at three very different price points. So hopefully we can answer some questions today about what you can expect at different price points and what kind of fire pit's gonna work in your setup. As always guys, if you find anything that you like in this video or you get some value out of this, please, if you like it, give us a like or even subscribe to us so you don't miss anything when it comes to our gear reviews, our adventures, our trips, anything that we do. All right, guys, let's get straight into it. All right, so we've got three very different and very differently priced fire pits here. We'll start over here, the Humble Bunnings fire pit. So this one I've had for about a year. Picked this one up for $39. You've probably all seen this one. It's the Adventure Kings one from Four Wheel Drive Supercenter. I think at the moment they're going for about somewhere around the $80 mark. Our new Darchi 450 barbecue, Darchi 450 barbecue fire pit. This one we picked up from Tent World for $279. So you can see there's a fair difference in the price. $40 odd dollars, $80 odd dollars, $280 odd dollars. So is $280 dollars better than the $40 one? Is it better than the $80 one? Let's find out. Right on guys, so we'll start over here with the Bunnings $40 fire pit. We'll run through a couple of little features on it. So it comes with this little lid. I think it's just mainly to stop any embers and things like that flying out of your fire pit if it, if it spits, but pretty flimsy. The material's not that great. It's obviously not rust proof it's very very rusty bear in mind we've only had this not even not quite a year we used it for one season one winter yeah it's pretty much basically falling apart so inside it's all one mil sheet metal um, shaped into a bit of a dome nothing too fancy about it it's pretty much just a dish you can see just there like, i mean all around the base there's just rust everywhere it's it's barely hanging on but we'll see how we go. This one also came with a coal grate um, that you can put your timber on, stack your fire. It just keeps it a little bit elevated off the, uh, off the bottom of the fire pit. And it also comes with a cooking grill as well. Okay, so one thing that I do really like about this little dome fire pit is how quick and easy it is to set it up. The hinge legs, one pin, pull the pin, do it for all three legs. Flip it over and you're right to go. That's what I do love about this pit. Right, moving on, we'll have a look at the Adventure Kings one and see what that has to offer. All right guys, so fire pit number two is the Adventure Kings or four wheel drive super center uh, fire pit that they offer over there. There's not much to this fire pit. These fire pits are pretty much as basic as you can get. Uh, it's four plates of three millimeter mild steel plate. So all four plates come in and slide in together here, 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 and here. Um, each plate has its own little cutout as it works as a handle. So I'll quickly show you guys how this one um, packs up and sets up. Uh, really easy, basic. So it's just these two side plates, pull straight out. Now, as soon as you pull one out, it, would, it is gonna sort of flex and bend, so just be mindful. So you pull out, there you go. You're left with your four plates Get your two side plates and then your two end plates. We'll quickly put it back together. I find it's easier to do them one at a time. Then you should be able to slide your last one straight down. But once it's in, once it's in, it's in. One of the great things that uh, Four Drive Supercenter have done as well. They've made a bag specifically for this fire pit. Obviously with most Adventure King stuff, they've laser cut their, their logo into it. Um, it actually comes out really nice. And it's a pretty decent little pit. There are a few things that I don't like about it, but we'll get into them in a second. Let's have a look at the Darchi and we'll go from there. All right guys, so our third and final fire pit is the Darchi 450. We'll run through what this uh, fire pit's made of. We'll run through how this thing's built. Straight away you can see that this pit is stainless steel and very easy. Folds away then it slips into a bag. The fire pit comes with the bag 
and it's a really good quality as well. If you haven't already seen uh, our rundown on this fire pit, I'll put it up here somewhere and um, you can have a look. Very easy design, picks up, folds out, and you clip it down and away you go. But yeah, you, you can use it without clipping it down. All right guys, so how are we gonna compare these fire pits? I'll come up with a little list of five categories. So the first one, portability. Next one, usability. Third one, so the smoke-free component. Number four, durability. And number five is value for money. So, all right guys, so we'll start off with the Darchi uh, 450. Just run you through the dimensions and uh, that should do us. So fully packed up, folded down, base plate, trivet, fire pit, barbecue, and all packed away in the bag. It measures in at 560 millimeters by 560 millimeters by 80 millimeters thick. So pretty good, pretty, pretty compact and pretty portable. Um, we haven't found anywhere that we've struggled with it yet. Really good by Darchi actually for all the stuff that they get in there. Right on guys, so the Adventure Kings or four wheel drive super center fire pit, um, packed up all uh, down in one piece um, is 500 millimeters across by 400 millimeters uh, wide and 12 millimeters thick. So this is something that I really do like about this fire pit is that it packs down so flat, um, just over a centimeter. So it really does take up not much room. So the old Bunnings fire pit, um, 600 millimeters across. Um, so it's 600 millimeters rounded uh, and nearly 200 millimeters high. Uh, that's with the legs folded down. So almost 20 centimetres to pack and it's round and dome shaped. So anyone that's tried to pack round things in your camping setup knows that it's a nightmare. Yeah, come to your own conclusions with that. Right, guys, so going on the dimensions of each fire pit and sort of just how easy each one is to pack away, let's go through and score. Packing anything round away is a nightmare when you're out camping and touring. Um, aside the dome shape the fact that it's almost 200 millimeters um, tall with the legs folded um, it, it it's an, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you from experience it's a so that's one comes in last second I think this one just comes down to dimensions but Dachi it's just based on dimensions 560 so it's a, it's over half a meter wide and over half a meter um, long in the bag and then 80 centimeters thick it's just a little bit bigger than the king's one adventure kings um, super center whatever you want to call it this one comes out on top for portability um, just because of how small it does pack down to the actual fire pit size opens up to the same very similar to the dachi um, but it's just so easy to pack away and work with there hasn't been anywhere that I haven't been able to fit this thing yet. All right, round number two. So usability. This one just comes down to how quick you can get a fire started and chill out. So let's see how fast we can get a fire started in each one of these fire pits and we'll go from worst to best again. I'll give you a hot tip as well. Um, easiest way to light a fire, outside of fire lighters um, and mucking around with newspaper and things, bit of paper towel and cooking spray or olive oil, any oil that you got laying around, works awesome. DIY fire starter, works every time and you will never have a drama with it. That's a hot tip. All right, I'll give you guys a quick look at the Darchi fire pit, how it gets to be stacked. All your kindling stacks up really nicely. Nice little pyramid. Um, and because of how this fire pit, uh, pit is shaped, it's super easy to stack your timber like that. Just your kindling, sorry. So. That's, um, that's really good to see. So you can have a look at the Bunnings fire pit. So you can see the same thing. So it's really pretty easy to stack up like a bit of a pyramid. Um, there's a little bit more balance in, involved in it. You have to sort of balance out your timber a bit because of how wide the fire pit is and the um, grate on the bottom. And pretty easy, just a little bit more balancing involved. Let's have a look at the super center. Have a look at this mess of a thing. So I tried my best to do a bit of a triangle pyramid sort of shape um, but it all fell apart on me because of how it's shaped it tapers down to a, a v point um, 
you can't really stack your kindling in a uh, pyramid. It sort of all just falls apart. Let's see how it goes. I'm actually pretty surprised about the Darchi. The Darchi one took a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera guys, but because of the King's V shape um, on that, with this fire pit, all the ash, embers, and your coals all fall into that V and basically extinguish themselves. Every time I've used this fire pit, that's what I've found with it. Unless you have a false bottom in it, uh, it's really hard to keep the fire going in that one. With the Bunnings one and the Darchi, I've, I haven't really tended to them at all. All I've done is add more, add more wood. So I think easy enough to score. King's one or the Super Center fire pit is definitely in last place uh, for the usability and actually getting a fire started. It's a pain in the ass with that V uh, taper in it. Unless you've got a false floor or you want to put a hell of a lot of kindling into it, um, this is a pain in the ass. If there is a way to combat that, just stay tuned and I'll tell you how you can semi-fix it. All right guys, so round number three, the smoke-free factor. I think, again, in last place, Adventure Kings, four-wheel drive super center, whatever you want to call them. Be again, it's just because of that taper. Because the taper's down to a point, you have no airflow coming from the bottom. Um, a good way that you can sort of combat this is you can get a couple of bolts, just any bolts, uh, the bigger the better, and slide them into the sides where you fire pit slides together. This just gives a little bit of an air gap at the very bottom and just lets some air come through and blow upwards. Doesn't fix it completely, but it's just enough that you can get away with it. Last place, definitely Adventure Kings. I'll go out and say the Bunnings one is next. Um, it's created, it's creating a lot more smoke. And I think the only reason for that is the grate that the fire actually sits on is only about 12 mil from the bottom of the pit. So there's not really enough space to get a good airflow underneath and then up. But still in second place. All right, and the winner for the smoke free category is Darchi. I think it all comes down to the trivet that the Darchi pit has in there. Um, again, just getting that big air gap. There's a decent air gap in there, about 40, 50 millimeters, or even maybe more right to the bottom and right to the point. Getting that good air gap, raising your fire up so that it can suck air actually from the bottom. Because these things aren't sealed, airflow can actually be sucked from the bottom up through the fire. On a really calm night, you you really don't see smoke coming out of these things much at all. Um, you might see a little bit when it's catching on a new piece of timber, um, new piece of wood or a new log, but that's about it. All right, let's talk durability. So we'll start over with the Bunnings one. So we've already touched on it before, but the Bunnings uh, fire pit is only one mil sheet metal, really, really lightweight, really cheap. And I don't like saying cheap and nasty because it's not, I mean, it, it does the job but it is cheap, it is very cheap. It's um, very low quality metal and it's really very, very thin. Um, so I think for the most part, the actual fire pit itself is very cheap uh, and very low quality. I'll score that one last of all of them. Move on to the Adventure Kings. So <clears throat> you might be wondering why the fire in the Adventure Kings one is out. I gave up on it. I didn't want to keep on wrestling with it but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the construction. So again, I've touched on this when we had a quick look at it, but the construction is four plates of three mil mild steel. So three mil mild steel plate. That is very, very strong. Um, it's not so good when it comes to rust, but it is very strong. You know, you, you could drop this thing, you could run it over, you could do a million things to it. It probably, it, I think it would stand up and it, it wouldn't break. I've, when we've pulled up to campsites, I've just thrown this thing out of the back of the car, thrown it on the ground. It's, you know, it's fallen down embankments. It's, it's had a pretty rough life and it has definitely stood up. It, 
Apart from the rust on it, it looks brand new. Definitely very, very strong. No issues there. But again, yep, it comes in at second, only because, we'll talk about it now, the Darchi. So the Darchi 450 um, is completely stainless steel. If you haven't already seen our first impressions video, I'll, I'll put it up here in the left-hand corner. Have a go over there and check that one out. But it's completely stainless steel from the base plate all the way to the top. Awesome, awesome quality, awesome quality materials. Everything's stainless, um, easy to use. The hinges are oversized, so no matter how many times you use it, it's always going to fold easily. It's never gonna jam. They've sort of thought of the smoke-free effect, if you wanna call it that. With the design and how they've built this thing, the air comes from the bottom rather than from the sides. So rather than have to come in from the sides and up, it goes straight from the bottom, straight up through the fire, which is just a great um, design and construction thought that Darchi have had. And number five, uh, value for money. So value for money. Um, this is purely my opinion. And I guess everyone will have their own opinion on where uh, the, their value for money would be. For me, it's definitely with the Darchi. Yes, it's $280. It's the most expensive one here. But for me, I expect this thing to last me at least 10 years and probably longer. Um, if this thing fails before 10 years, I would be majorly pissed off. Where at the other end of the scale, the Bunnings one, I would expect that thing is going to fall apart in the next couple of months. The way that the bottom is at the moment, it's almost rusted completely through. I wouldn't be surprised if the bottom falls out of that thing very, very soon. And the Adventure Kings one, yes, I think it's got a lot of value there, but my biggest uh, problem with it is how much of a pain it is to actually use it. Um, unless you're gonna sit there for ages and keep feeding kindling until you get a nice better coals, it's, it's just not practical. Um, that's my only problem with it, so I don't see the value in that style of fire pit. Not saying it's the Adventure Kings one, I'm just saying that style. But I definitely see the value in the Darchi one. But that's each to their own. Let me know what you guys think. If you would pick the Bunnings one over the Darchi or the Adventure Kings over the Darchi or vice versa anyway, let me know in the comments below. If you're only gonna use your fire pit on the weekends, maybe once every few months or twice a year maybe, yeah, the Bunnings one might be for you. Quick, easy, cheap, why not? Um, or if you're going to use this thing, you know, maybe once a month, once every two months, yeah, the Adventure Kings one maybe as well. But we are honestly probably going to be using this thing once a week, once a week, once a fortnight. So that's why I, you know, that's why we invested in the one that we have and I see the value in that. Righto guys, I really hope you enjoyed our comparison looking at fire pits from the very, very cheapest end of the scale all the way through to the highest end of the scale. As always guys, all this gear is all linked down below in the description box. So head over there and check it out. And disclaimer, we are in no way affiliated with Bunnings, Adventure Kings, or we have genuinely just built this stuff over the years and wanted to see how it went up against each other. So don't forget, if you've liked this video, like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there so you don't miss a beat when it comes to all of our videos. Hit that notification bell so you also are always up to date on our latest uploads. All right, guys, get out and about, and I'll see you in the next one.